Hello again, in this video I show you how to place a belt buckle and um, there are different ways. First I show you how the claw trainer would show you and then how I would do it. Let's go! Okay, at first I double all my pattern pieces with Ctrl D. And then I place him on the avatar. Like this. And sew them together. If you don't know um, the sewing tools, you can watch my sewing tool video. Okay, then I start a simulation. Oops. Okay. So. Then I create a belt with the rectangle tool. So I go here to rectangle. About this long. And then I create an internal line here. Maybe here. And place the belt. Um, if it's here too tight, you can click on the 2D pattern and go down to Arrangement and then you can um, change it here a bit. Like this. And then I sew it here together. Start a simulation. Then I change the particular distance of the belt. Um, click on the belt and then here particular distance, maybe five or three and start the simulation again and then i move it a bit like this and i can set the layer to one and then it's over the waist print so maybe a bit Then I would um, set a pin here on both sides, so I go to um, the pin box. So, then I Click on a belt again and layer to zero. And then I set up him, or then I lift it up a bit like this and set up him. And then I add my buckle. 
just drag and drop it. Then one click on the trim. Then you see here this little wine glass. I don't know. <laughs> Is it a glue? Um, uh, one click, click, <laughs> one click on the glue, and then stick it to the belt. So maybe here, and then you can turn it a bit with the gizmo. This. Then I go to the pin box and select mesh, not pin box, um, select mesh box. Uh, you can also make a pin um, on a 2D pattern. So first I just make a little pin here, then I know where it is on a 2D pattern. And then I can select a new one. I can make a new one. And then I can move it a bit. Or maybe just one step back. It's better like this, yeah. And then I move it with the gizmo forward. Then I delete this one, just um, go back to the pin box and click on a pin and delete it and then go back to the select mesh box and try it uh, here, just make it like that and then I move it, oops. Wait. Ah. Um, I forgot one step and um, you can or you should um, click on a trim right click and unglue and then you can make a pin and move it not perfect <laughs> a bit more maybe like this and then um, just click on the trim again and to collision because otherwise the fabric would slip through the buckle. I can show you. So it would happen like this. I don't want uh, one step back, collision, and then. Yeah, it works. Not perfect, but it works. <laughs> okay, okay. If it works, great. <laughs> um, but if you want to change the pose now, the buckle would not move with the avatar. So, um, um, if you do, uh, if you want to do it like this, um, then only when your garment is ready to render. Um, I would do it a little different. Um, because for me it's more practical that way. So, um, I think I delete this and then I can show you the second way or my way. Um, I would create a, another internal line here. Just click on a line and um, copy and paste it here. And I do the same, copy and paste it here. Then I sew them together. And then I have here a little loop. Can you see it? And then I create another line, also copy and paste. The same here. And I sew them together like this. Okay, um, now I need my buckle, drag and drop, 
click on the back of and glue, stick it where you want it, maybe here, and then move it. this and when you stick it on the belt and um, you have to be careful where you click on the trim because on this point the buckle sticks to the fabric and now you can start the simulation Woo! no <laughs> uh, one step back then I forgot something so click on the trim Mm, click here on the, uh, in the object browser on the trim and then go to weight m5 is too much i prefer just zero then you can start a simulation and then you can sign up a bit Not perfect, but you can move it a bit like this. Or you can also move your you can also move your lines. You can um, if you click on the trim, go here to this uh, transform tool. You can also make it a bit. And now you can see if you um, move the belt, the buckle will also move with it. Here it's not perfect, but um, I think it's a better way. Uh, we don't want to see the sewing line here, so we can go to the edit um, sewing tool, click on all these um, lines and then go to intensity zero thickness zero and then you can see them anymore i like it more this way and uh, what do you say uh, feel free to write it in the comments and follow for more